Hi guys, it's Tox live from London, boxing with a man them. Um, just want to talk about the super middleweight division and, and a new hot prospect called David Benavides. Um, just to give you some background into the super middleweight division, ever since Carl Froch left, it's been barren. Carl Froch left it in a, in a in a state. He basically ripped the d division apart. Then Andre Ward ripped it again by moving up to light heavyweight. So you are left with a good couple of contenders, but none of the none of the contenders that are there, such as your Badu Jacks, your Dame de Gales, and your um, what's the other what's the other one? What's the other one? You've got you got James the Girl, Buddy Dick Jack, and yeah. Groves. Didn't really didn't really separate themselves yeah. from the situation. They didn't really see them. You didn't really look at them guys and say these are the champions. These are the guys running the division. Yeah. Every fight between them has been close. You've got the other guy with top rank, Gilberto Ramirez. He's I don't know. He's a bit averagey to me. I can't. I don't see anything special. Um, but the Mexicans have got one with this kid. Just to give you a bit of background from what I saw, I saw him fight a guy called Porky Medina. Um, this fighter, Porky Bedina, fought the girl and the girl went life and death with him. Um, the girl's a good fighter, but I mean, there wasn't a clear separation in talent or class. The girl won the first couple of rounds and then after that, it was a big struggle. He had a lot of cocos and bruises and, you know, it was, you know, he fought the fight to the point where Porky Medina was, you know, sitting there saying, yeah, I think I won this. On the other hand, David Benavides, boy, he was hitting him with machine shotgun combos. It was crazy. He done him in the eighth round, but dropped him, I think, every round before. Every, well, at least from the sixth round all the way up to the eighth, he kept dropping him. Destroyed him. The speed. The kid is six foot one. I think he's got a 89% KO ratio. Only one guy's been a distance. Guys, what? He's only 20 years old. I heard rumors that he's already sparred Triple G and given Triple G some good work at Big Bear Mountain. Anyone that knows their boxing knows Triple G is a feared and vaunted um, middleweight champion. And I'm hearing this 20-year-old was hanging in there with Triple G. The kid's a beast. Everyone needs to be put on notice. Groves, you're on notice. The girl, you're on notice. Um, Callum Smith, you're, you're six foot three. And I don't know what you're doing in that division, but you're on notice. Um, who else is on notice? Chris Eubank Jr., you're on notice. This kid is here to take to take names. You don't want to. You don't want to know. You don't. You don't even want your belt. He just wants your name. It's a. He's a beast. Um, guys, check him out. David Benavides. Check out his highlights on PBC um, of him just sparking at Pookie Medina. And just check out some of his other work because the kid's talented. Fast hands, very quick combos. Probably the quickest I've seen in the middleweight, the super middleweight division. Um, so that's my analysis on the guy. Guys, please do look out for him. Um, this is Tox, live from London. Boxing with a man, them. I'm out.